Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am this demo, I am going to show you demo of another Spring Boot and I have a project which is online Dr. Finder system. So here, uh, this is a Spring Boot application and according to the technology we are using Spring Boot, I have a JPA and uh, it's using JSP, JSTL and HTML, CSS for the current time. Application is running over the Tomcat server, that is in build server from the Spring Boot. So, uh, so manage the backend it's using mysql database and it has the events like user specialty doctor and appointment okay now i'm going to show you how the features and functionalities are working over there so for that i'm going to run this application also if you have bought this project from code one then you need to follow this step from now in order to run this application okay so i just right click on this in this class and this is your runner class so right click on it go to run s run it as a java application and wait until server will start so tomcat will start the tomcat server uh, spring boot will start the tomcat server and you will see the console messages over here and after that you can go here into the application property file and we will put one app url here but here also you need to check the port number on which the so application is running which is you can say 5000 and so we are going to create a url on our chrome browsers open your browser and enter local host and the browser the, the port number and the context part so i have this url already over there so i'm going to enter this and it will automatically launch it my browser also to save site we are keeping it here so it makes when you go to this code you will get this things here so you directly copy this url and you can paste it on your browser so if we talk about the features and functionality these are the welcome page where you will see this uh sign up sign in and about us option and under the about us page you will get this content and over the sign up you can register as a new user and while signing we can sign in from here from this login form so if we check the user table here into the user table we have two types of users one is admin which is the first record in the table and other is a user or customer you can say so i'm going to log in as an admin first and show you what admin can do over there then we we'll move to uh, other user and see what the functions other user can perform I just enter the credential for the admin and I just log in as an admin. So first option, an admin can check uh, any specialty. So let's suppose I have added some test, test SP and uh, you can add a meaningful content. I'm for demonstration, I'm adding just dummy content. When user will click, admin will click on the view specialty. Uh, you can check the data here into the list format also if admin wants admin can delete it by check this by check click on this icon click on delete button and will be deleted if you want as an admin want to edit it you can edit it like this and again it will be edited here also you can search it by its name so it will be filter out the data reset option is there another option for admin we have to add doctor so i'm just adding a dummy data here under the this category or specialty and here experience the location and the fees let's suppose i have added 600 over there i save the data and when i view the data again the data will be displayed to this list again i can delete it i can edit the record i can search uh, doctor by its experience and let's suppose i have uh, done add the experience filter out the data by doctor name by uh, location also we can search so if i hit here and enter the location search it it will filter out the data okay after doctor we have approved appointment so the admin can check here the list of the appointments that are coming from the user side so i'm going to create another instance of the application and log in as a user and see what user can do over there so here um, I just go to sign in and let's register as a new user. So I register as a new uh, user and address new uh, email address new at the gmail.com and enter the meaningful phone number four five six seven eight nine ten and a password. So I just enter demo at the rate one two three D is capital over here and I select agenda and click on register. 
so its user is registered successfully and now if i refresh my user table from here you can see the option here the new data is added so this is my login id and i just enter in you know, to log in and i just enter the password and when i hit the login button i can check the search doctor option over there and a view appointment so currently you can see the record not found but we already have uh, the data into the database if you see here under the view um, this is the user and this is the admin so if i uh, if admin can check we have these four doctors but user side it's not showing because uh, we have to search the record so when i select for especially uh, specialty and when you search it it will display now the data of the cardiologist okay and if i select any other specialty it will display the data from this category i can also search the data by name uh, if i know and here in order to process the appointment or book the appointment and let's suppose these are the recent doctor that we have just added and i select this checkbox process to appointment and i just select I just need to select the date from here and time and I will take appointment and now showing um, wait for the admin to approve the appointment and it's pending and it's added successfully. Now if I go to the admin side, uh, admin side here and if I check my approved appointment so I can see one unapproved appointment is there so I need to click on the checkbox and I can reject it if I want to reject I need to click on this if I click on this it will be approved now if I go to the user side here and replace the data and uh, it will show it's, it's showing as a pending approved yet uh, if I go here okay just check me the admin side once more time okay this is a new request we have again get I just click on the approve now and all the requests are approved and when I go here and check now showing two requests are uh, approved there we have clicked it two times that's why it's created uh, two record if you click on one time it will create one record on the over there apart from that we have a my option my profile option where a user can update the profile change password and from the other side also we have the same option my profile for the admin and change password and log out about this page put is there so these are the complete functionality of a doctor finding application in spring boot and have a net so if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp mail or a skype and don't worry about the configuration we have a remote support so the remote team will be totally responsible to set up this code at your machine and it will work same as in the in this demo thank you for watching